welcome back one and all to another beer review. Uh, the first beer actually, you know, out of the three beer reviews that I, I was going to do, this is the first one of the night. So uh, next beer up is one that my wife got me for Christmas. It was in the same pack as the Titanium West Coast IPA. Uh, and this is from Castle Eden which I've never had anything from them before. I'd never heard of them, to be honest. So it's first for me, it's first for the channel. And this is a, basically it's just Cast, Castle Eden Ale, traditional English ale, coming in at 4.2% in a 330ml bottle. I think the pack was seven quid, I think, with three beers and a glass. So uh, standard sort of shape bottle, plain black bottle cap, traditional sort of style ale, uh, label. Uh, is it, do I like it? It's kind of inoffensive. It's nothing eye catching. It's just, it's just the typical sort of like. So, uh, let's get this beer out. See what we get. Different glass for you all today. Little half pint tankard there. Not used that in a long time. Got that from a, a beer festival thing in Oswestry, 2015, and had much use. So, uh, get it out and use it for this, isn't it? So, there we go. Hope everyone's okay. No doubt, half of you or most of you enjoying a beer on this Saturday evening. No idea what to expect on this. I haven't had a look, to be honest, on the bottle. And sort of. da, 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 it. What do we say? In fact, I won't even bother reading it. We'll just get on with this. Still a little bit left in the glass, in the bottle, in a glass. It's sort of. It's amber in colour. Quite a bit of carbonation going up. Quite a nice finger of white compact head on top it's sort of slightly hazy as well it looks okay uh let's dive in with the nose see what we get i can swell i can never swell it get these little glasses fill them right to the top I can never swell it around a little bit malty but not getting a lot off it getting a bit worrying actually the last one i had is uh didn't get a lot on the nose to be honest so uh so Bain got the runa. I'm getting a little bit more. That's about it really. I'll probably get a bit more maybe once I, once I take a sip off it and can swill it around a bit more. So uh, cheers everyone. Let's dive in and see what we get. 4.2%. Don't even know if I said that. 4.2% anyway. So uh, let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is lovely. Uh, really didn't know what to expect. I'll go in again. And it is traditional ale. So let's go in again anyway. Lovely body to it. That head, maybe, I mean, it, it tastes really smooth. Whether the head's add into that, I'm not sure. But, oh, lovely body. Lovely smooth mouth feel. Not too much carbonation. There's a lovely gentle hop taste in there. Sometimes these ales have that typical sort of real strong hoppy taste, which isn't always to my taste, shall we say. This got a lovely gentle hop sort of feel. Taste, I should say. Sweet. Sweet malty, sweet sort of, how can I put it? Very earthy, sort of toffee caramel, sweet malt in there. But it's not so much that you go, oh, that's toffee, that's caramel. It's not so prominent that it's out, but it's got that lovely sort of, sweetness in the background four point two percent is nowhere it's nowhere uh it's almost shandy like in uh in the sort of strength feel about it there's this there's, there's there's no ink in there of it i mean don't get me wrong four point two is not particularly strong is it anyway but this is beautiful 
the mouthfeel is amazing. And the body on it is, is it, the mouthfeel super soft, lovely body. Toffee, malty sort of notes in there. It's got a nice sweetness to it. You're getting a nice, subtle sort of hop taste. But enough to sort of taste the hops, but not punching your taste buds out with it. Very, very, very minimal, minimal bitterness to it. This is an absolute belter. It's, cool, I could drink quite a few of them quite easy because I mean, look, that's virtually gone with me talking for five minutes. I mean, that is an absolute belter. I would love to try that on cask or something. That is lovely. Uh, like I say, I'm not picking loads up in the taste or it's hard to describe it, but Yeah, it's just hoppy, sweet, sweet malt, toffee sort of notes to it. Maybe a hint of maybe some fruit in there, but but otherwise it's a very it seems to be a very simple sort of tastes in there. That's really well balanced and tastes awesome. To be honest, I think that's really really good myself. Really enjoyable. So there you go. That's a traditional. English Ale from Castle Eden, 4.2%. Uh, I think that's a belter. And if I could pick that up individually, I would pick quite a few of them up. That's how nice I think that is. Uh, so if you've had it before, let me know what you think. I think it's a belter. That's it for the first review of the night. There's going to be uh, one from Harvestoon coming up. Bitter and Twisted, Golden Ale. And uh, I'm finishing off with one from Red Rock. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you on my next beer review. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your beers. And I'll see you again. Cheers.